it's a mammoth piece. It's a crazy piece. And it's... It lasts... I, I've never been able to play it in less than 75 minutes. I've been trying. But I can't. The original theme is after one hour, 15 minutes of music is repeated, amplified, but repeated at the end. And in between, there are 36 variations grouped by six sets of six. Each group finishes with the recapitulation of the previous five variations. So the architecture is extremely strong and very efficient. What also makes it very special is to deal with such a diversity of stylistic, you know, toccata-like moments or atmospheres, catching resonance, colors, stylistic uh, elements from jazz to rock to minimalism. It's extremely successful in the, in the way he uses this mix with a total freedom and also a sense of it's very, very architectured, but in the meantime, it feels improvised from the beginning to the end. It's a huge diversity of what music can bring to life. It's, it's, it's amazing. What is it about the feeling of this particular song, do you think, that makes it so compelling right from the beginning? Well, it's a very beautiful song that was uh, written uh, at the, during the Alien years, mm -hmm. uh, and which was, which was emblematic of the wish of the people to, to, to uh, stand together against um, fascism. People through the, the entire world would sing this, uh, this, this song as a way to demonstrate their um, solidarity with the uh, Chilean people. So through the entire world, and I, I remember as a young man, I, I was part of that. I, I, I sang this theme when I was 18 or 20 years old, uh, and it, it was there. It, we felt um, we were part of something important. What do you hope people feel or experience when they hear this piece in its entirety? It's, it's hard to talk for people. I don't know how... I remember how, the way I reacted the first time I heard it. Uh, I heard it uh, the first time in real life. It was a performance in Paris by the composer himself. And I knew the piece, I had heard it before, but never from the beginning to the end in concert setting. Uh, and so this... Uh, there was a sense of massive moment of music, like a mountain of music. And it's... I had this, the feeling that it's... There are moments where I get, got bored, there were moments where I got excited. There were moments where, when I wanted to, to leave. Uh, I, I, it's a very, very powerful piece and it, it doesn't leave the audience intact. We are not intact. We, are, we, are, we can be pissed at moments. Uh, and I remember uh, after he finished, um, there was a, this guy in the audience who who was furious and he... Oh. Why was he furious? He was furious probably because he was a, a contemporary music purist. 
Ah. That's what I I imagine. I don't know, it could be that or it He was pissed at the consonances. He, he was pissed at the, <laughs> uh, the tonal, tonal uh, aspect of the piece. Yeah. It's almost, through the entire piece, it's also, almost tonal, even when it doesn't sound tonal at all. Mm. It's very American. It's totally American. I mean, in a way, it's not far from Charles Ives. Everything in one place. Yeah, everything in one, in one place. It's a very united piece of music which uses a huge diversity of musical possibilities. So it's about, the piece itself is about unity and diversity. I think it's an amazing piece.